the college football viewing guide for week number five. I'm going to go on and pull it up on the screen here so that you can see what's going on, and I will tell you what I am doing at each of the big prime spots. Starting on Thursday night, of course, there's only one game, Utah State at BYU. Uh, BYU has lost multiple quarterbacks in games against Utah State. Uh, I think you're really going to just be trying to get out of, you know, out of a game without getting anybody hurt. So that's that's my biggest thing here. Um, Tulane at Houston is on Friday. Now, there are multiple games on Friday. That one is incredibly interesting to me. I've got... I'll have that one on the main screen, and then, of course, I will keep it on so that I can watch Washington and UCLA after that. Tulane and Houston, I need to figure out what those teams are because I just I have no idea. Um, other than, I, There's nothing else on Friday that really intrigues me other than maybe uh, UTSA and Middle Tennessee uh, because i, I got to see what Middle Tennessee is after just thumping Miami. Uh, UTSA is a favorite there. I mean, just crazy. Uh, Boise, of course, is going to start the freshman at quarterback uh, now that Hank Bachmeyer is transferring, uh, and the OC Tim Flau has been uh, has been fired. So, moving along to Saturday, uh, the noon slate. Uh, I am going to be watching Kentucky at Ole Miss. Uh, that one's going to be on ESPN uh, at 11 a.m. Central Time, of course, God's time zone. Um. But along with that, on my other TVs, I'm going to have Oklahoma at TCU, which is on ABC in that time. And I'm going to have Illinois at Wisconsin, which is on the Big Ten Network. Uh, that one, I think, has the... That could be a sicko game. So I will, I will certainly be watching that. I want to see what Illinois does. Brett Bielema's return to Camp Randall. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, Michigan-Iowa could be a little crazy. I think Minnesota is is going to devour Purdue Um And then Louisville, B.C., eh, there's nothing there for me. Uh, Georgia State Army, mm, uh, Temple, Memphis, eh. You know, other than Navy and Air Force maybe could get interesting. Um, Navy put up some fight last week against East Carolina, so maybe that's something. Moving into the Saturday 3.30 slate, uh, I'm going to have Alabama and Arkansas on. I want to see, because Arkansas, to me, is still the better team than Texas A&M. I know they lost the game, but... Arkansas was the more dominant team in that game. I mean, they they were better from kickoff to the end of the game and just had some bad things go against them. Uh, I think they're going to be fired up for this. I mean, Drew Sanders leads that team. Arkansas leads the country in sacks. I mean, just nuts. And I don't trust that Alabama offensive line. So Alabama, of course, we've seen them on the road. Uh, they ain't great on the road. So this one could get tricky. And so I think that one could be... Could be interesting. Wake Forest and Florida State, that's an interesting one uh, because I, you have to wonder if it's going to be moved or not. Like, are they going to do something with that? Uh, so we got to pay attention to that one. Oklahoma State at Baylor on Fox. That's a big, 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 big matchup. Uh, this is the first time that we've actually seen Oklahoma State play anybody. So, yeah, I'm, I'm interested in this one for sure. That one's going to be another TV. And, of course, right down here, Iowa State at Kansas That one's going to be fun. That one's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I need to be clicking these so that I can actually save them. Uh, But regardless, here, Tulane, Washington. uh, And there you go. SMU at UCF, if it actually happens. Mm, Yeah, that one one could get fun uh, because one of those teams could be competing for the AAC championship. We'll we'll have to see. We will have to see. Uh, Michigan State, I want to see what kind of a dumpster fire they could actually be. It's on FS1 at Maryland. Um, but Talia Tangavaloa, you know, got banged up pretty good against Michigan last week. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, Oregon State at Utah is another interesting one. It's on the Pac-12 network. It's at 2 p.m. Uh, Eastern. But, mm, you know, I, I, I'm not going to be searching out the Pac-12 network. I will, I will certainly say that. Not for that game. Uh, Saturday, 7 p.m. spot. NC State at Clemson. I think that's the biggest one. Obviously, Clemson is going to get rain. There's going to be a lot that's going on in South Carolina. This one could be incredibly interesting. I don't know if everybody remembers the Notre Dame at Clemson game from back, you know, years ago, the bring your own guts game. Uh, that's what we could have here. Just a lot of running the football, uh, defensive showdown, not a lot of points, etc. That This one could get very, very interesting. So I'm going to have that one on. Uh, on the other TV, I'm going to have... 
LSU at Auburn. It could be the end of the Brian Harson era. If you ever wanted to watch Brian Harson coach, you might want to tune in for this one because I think LSU has got some things figured out. I think this is a pretty good football team. Um, they're not good when they go on the road on the plains, but this feels like a different situation. So uh, FS1 is going to have West Virginia at Texas. That one, to me, looks like it could be very, very interesting. So I will be, I will have those on the screen in the 7 o'clock time slot. NC State at Clemson on the main TV, LSU, Auburn, and West Virginia, Texas on the other ones. Uh, moving along, of course, the late night games. And there's not a lot of options this week. Just, just not a lot as far as what you could actually watch. Stanford at Oregon, Arizona State at USC. Both of them should be blowouts. Uh, Stanford, of course, announced that EJ Smith is going to miss the year, so that definitely sucks. But, uh, but yeah, overall, not too shabby. Not too shabby of a weekend. Uh, every weekend is good when you get college football, just the way it goes. With that said, it's time for us to get out of here. The show, of course, is brought to you by BetUS, America's premier online sportsbook. Every single time out, they do the thing. They know what's up. Uh, they also bring you the picks contest. So go ahead and make sure that you have signed up for this week's picks contest. I've got, I've already got the games in. Make sure that you sign up. Of course, there's a link in the description for that. But also go and check out the BetUS uh, college football show that I host on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Uh, lots of fun things that we dive into there. The BetUS main TV channel, and of course, just sign up over at BetUS. I mean, just easy enough to do. So, uh, BetUS.com, BetUSTV.com, those are the best ways to get it. Uh, actually, no, the best way to do it is, of course, click on the links that I have for you in the description. That's the best way to do it. If you want to help support the show, that would help us out quite a bit. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.